Hello and welcome to an unboxing video for the Owl the Anime Summer 2022 Beach Boned Mystery Box and a few other purchases I've made as well. So in front of us we have this nondescript brown box which is my second favourite kind of box and inside is the Owl the Anime 2022 kind of mystery box. They do this uh, usually around Christmas and summertime. It's got mystery blu-rays in it basically and I've also gone ahead and purchased a few other things because they did also have a big summer sale on. So I'm going to crack into this box and we'll take a look inside. Now I'm not sure how it's packaged so we might be seeing my other purchases separate to the box or they might have all put them into this one big box, I can't tell. Anyway I'm going to go slice this open and we'll take a look. Alright, I've opened it up and it does seem like they have packed my other Blu-rays separate to the box. So that's kind of cool because um, I was kind of hoping they'd do that. So we've got four Blu-rays here. What will they be? Um, I'm going to go slice this open I'll be right back. Alright, turns out I didn't actually need to slash this open at all. So I'm going to pull these out. I know what these are going to be but uh, I'll explain why I bought these in a second. So. We do have Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, part one and two. So these were on sale, um, I think they were down to £30 for one of these. However, it was a buy one get one free sale, so realistically each of these parts was £15. Now, I do have Gundam Zeta and Double Z on Blu-ray. Uh, the only reason I don't have Mobile Suit Gundam is the last time they had a buy one get one free sale there was kind of this price. Part 2 of Mobile Suit Gundam was sold out, and I was like, well I'm not just going to buy part 1, especially when I buy one get one free sale, it kind of feels a bit weird, so I'm glad they've got them back in stock. Now I have seen Mobile Suit Gundam before, um, however, I mean, I've got Zeta, which I love, on Blu-ray, I've got Double Z, and I thought, well, my collection will look a little bit weird if I don't have Mobile Suit Gundam, plus I really like the show, it's not as good as Zeta, it's still a little bit rough, I mean, it's finding its feet, but... I really enjoy it, plus I may watch this dubbed now, because I watched this subbed originally, so I'm kind of curious to see what the dub is like for these two. So yeah, that's part one and two of those. I also have part one and two of Gundam Wing. Um, now I've never seen any of Wing, I have heard pretty darn good stuff about it though. And um, this is actually the only other Gundam series that was on the buy one get one free kind of sale thing, so I thought, well... You know what, I'm going to take a risk. Uh, I know, so again, this was marked down to 30, but it's probably going free, so it's £15 each. I've never seen them, uh, but let me know in the comments below if you're a big fan of Wing, or if you hated it and I made a horrible, horrible mistake. Uh, anyway, so that's the stuff I knew I was getting. And now, on to the other mystery box. Ooh, it's a recyclable one. Uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and slice into this, and then we'll take a look at this. Alright, I've gone ahead and sliced it open. So um, before we do open this, just two things to clarify. One, if you want to get one of these, um, you, you're out of luck. I'm filming this like a day or two after the sale ends. I don't think they've got any more. I'll leave a link to all the anime uh, in the description below. They're like a UK-based anime publishing company. So I mean, if you're in the UK, they're probably pretty good. If you're not in the UK, I don't know why you'd be looking at this. Um, second up as well. These, I believe, are five standard edition Blu-rays. I think they made it specifically clear that these aren't going to be like collector's editions or whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I like discovering series or kind of like watching series I didn't really intend to watch. But, you know, discovering stuff. And plus it's like £30, £35 maybe. So, you know, for that price, I thought it was a pretty good deal. So we've got a stack of five. I don't think I mentioned how many there were actually. Um, so, I didn't take a look at the front. May some of you eagle-eyed viewers might have spotted something, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so, my only hopes are I don't get any duplicates and I don't get any Gundam series, because I've got, got a lot of those. So, I'm just going to pull out the first one, and we'll take a look. Ride your wave. Now, I don't believe... <laughs> Actually, wait a second, I might actually own this on Special Edition. I think this might have popped up in the previous one I did for Christmas last year. I'm going to go double check that, BRB. Alright, I was correct. I do indeed own the Special Edition, which, as you can tell, I haven't actually watched yet. Uh, just because I haven't got run to it, really. 
Um, so I mean, I guess taking a bit of an L on this, I think that's the first time I've ever used that phrase in a video and I regret it already. However, I mean, I've heard kind of good things about this movie, it's very pretty and stuff. Um, so I might end up giving this to a friend or something, uh, you know, but it's not, it's not the worst thing to have. I mean, technically for collector's edition purposes, I now have both versions of it, so that's something, I guess. Alright. On to the next one. Please don't be a dupe again. We have... Ooh, what is this? This is su Summer with... Summer Coo? Summer Days with Coo. I've never heard of this. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at the back. And I'll be right back. Alright, so looking at it, it seems like it's an anime film uh, following Ride Your Wave. And it's by the director of Miss Hokusai and Colourful. Now, I've heard of Miss Hokusai, I've not heard of Colourful, but, I mean, looking at the back, I really like the art direction. And I'm really curious about what the, the heck that kappa? Is that a kappa, I guess, of, like, Japanese mythology? Is, is my best assumption? Or maybe it's, like, a weird plant thing? I don't know. I'll definitely be giving this a watch, though. So I'll put that to the side. Next up in our stack, I'm just opening it this way so I can't see the covers, we have Am Amanchu, Amanchu. I want to say I've heard of this, but the... it doesn't look familiar. I th Is it a series or a film? I'm not sure, actually. Um, right, I'm going to go take a look. All right, I've just had a look. This, this seems really interesting, actually. So I think it's a short series. Um, it says short anime episodes at the back there. I don't know exactly what they mean, because the runtime is 325 minutes, which is like a sort of 12-episode anime, right? Am I, unless I'm getting that wrong. But, I mean, this does sound very comfy. Uh, all for fun, fun for all, which is the kind of tagline. And, I mean, it just looks like a bunch of cute anime girls and a guy maybe having some fun summertime fun. Also, I feel like I've seen that character before, which is maybe a chibi-fied version of that character, maybe? But I swear I've seen, like, images of that character posted somewhere before. Alright, so far we are two for three. We've got two left. What is the next one gonna be? Uh, fireworks. Okay. I've never heard of this. Uh, this does not look familiar at all. It looks very pretty, though. Um, I will say all of these anime movies and stuff always have very, very nice visuals for, like, their front covers. I'm going to take a look at what exactly this is. All right, so this sounds pretty darn cool, actually. So it is a movie. It's uh, 90 minutes, so, you know, sort of short or average, I guess. But one of the directors was the director of Madoka Magica, which uh, is already quite interesting, and the fact the animation studio is Shaft, who makes some incredible-looking um, anime and films. So, I mean, with that combination, this sounds really, really interesting. The plot is also kind of cool. It's got, like, sci-fi elements and stuff. I haven't read too much, because I, I tend to find these blurbs will, like, give away the first half an hour of the film sometimes. And it's like, well, I kind of want to go into it blind. I don't really want to know much about it because I want to be, like, surprised and, you know, like like it was intended, really. But that, it really looks like a very pretty film. So, uh, very excited for that. All right, it's time for our last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so this has been a, uh, a, a mixed bag. This is Aoharu no Machi X Machine Gun. Uh, and this is a series I have literally watched within the last year. Um, I bought it on sale from all the anime. Um, I can say it is a very good series. I enjoyed it. It's all about um, survival games or airsoft kind of stuff. Um, it's about Aoharu. Uh, actually, no, no I, I can't remember her name, but... It's the main character who joins a, like, survival game group in high school and stuff. I really enjoyed it. It was, um, it was pretty cool, actually. And now we've got a second copy that I, I might give to a friend, maybe, possibly. Or, like, sell, possibly. Or maybe just give to charity or something. Um, right, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack them up and we'll do a bit of a recap. And, and then I'll let you go. So, BRB. All right, I'm back. So, um... 
as as fate has deigned, the first and the last one are kind of Blu-rays that, eh, you know, I, I didn't really need and kind of a doubles. Uh, but, you know, the, the mid three, the two movies and the uh, series do genuinely have my interest peaked. Now, was it worth £35? I think so. I mean, average, these are probably £10 on a sale on a good day. So, I mean, you know, you're already saving money. And even if I take out these two, which I kind of already own, you're left with three things, which I'd say are probably worth £35 between them. You know, I, I enjoyed, anyway. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have seen any of these. Um, you know, and let me know if you got any good ones from, like, the sale or whatever and all the anime. I don't know how popular the site is. I use them fairly regularly because, like... Well, it's either them or Manga are the only, like, publishers in the UK. So, uh, you know, I, I, I do like owning physical anime. I know it's a lot more convenient online, but I don't know. I just like owning things, even if it does mean that I end up owning the same movie twice. Uh, the same movie that I still haven't got around to seeing. I swear to God, I will watch it before my next mystery box when they open up the Ultra Deluxe Collector's Edition, which will make me want to give this one away. Um... Yeah, overall, I'm pretty darn happy. I've also got the um, Gundam series to watch, so, you know, that's pretty that's pretty exciting, too. So, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing other anime-related stuff in the future, not necessarily mystery boxes, and maybe I'll give it a year or something before I kind of do another all the anime mystery box, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!